XRP move continues and it appears we're going to have a chance to hit that 60 second mark. Price action, of course. What if I told you money is leaving gold flowing into crypto along with greed entering the market? But I've got great news for you regarding crypto adoption. What if I told you that crypto could easily find its way into 401ks, into nearly every freaking portfolio of people in the United States? Oh yes, you want some crypto good news? I've got it for you, coming up next. And that's right everyone, we've got the Colbin Rudbach in the background with some new Shimano parts coming in that we gotta install. Started off with your comments, Ianis Gator says, Crap, XRP has been used by every single toilet, male and female. John Walker says, great video, Klaus. I got me a big bag of V-Chain and V, though, which is absolutely popping off. Yeah, dude. V-Chain making some moves, and we're starting to see some definite market separation here. Look at Monero, deep in the red, down 20%, while you've got Rune now up 23% in the same one-month time period. That's what I've got up on the chart right now, the one month. Stuff is moving. You got some stuff here, kind of lightly in the red. XLM, XRP, Monero down. Ton down, Arbitum bad. But look at Say is up. TRX is up. Link is up. BNB, Bitcoin, 52305. This is what it looks like for the last month so you could see the winners and losers. Casper making big moves. VeChain last month, 55%. So is there money to be made in crypto? You bet your butt there is. All right. Feed and Greer Index got it up on the screen. We're starting to enter a bit more in the greed. Oh, man. So how long can this juicy action last? Well, I've got some good news for you regarding crypto infiltrating almost everyone's freaking portfolio. But I wanted to share something with you. During this last movement, right, where we're seeing certain things pop and certain things drop, look at market cap and look at ranking. Okay. XRP at six behind Solana, down 19 billion in market cap. But I had a Cardano next at 21 billion, okay? Now watch what happens when I scroll down more and more and more. Look, ICP, SHIB, Bitcoin Cash, DAI, Litecoin, Uniswap, Immutable, Cosmos, Stacks, Optim, Stellar sliding all the way back to 31st place. Before this last movement of action, Stellar was sitting there in the mid-20s. And again, when we zoom out to the heat map and look at the one month, XLM in the one month down 1.23% while the majority of the market is up in green. All right, so how can crypto adoption get even further? Well, what if a huge crypto company were in the S&P 500? Now, if you don't know what the S&P 500 is, I'm going to help you out. What happened? Well, Joe Bird, a cryptocurrency analyst and senior product manager at Bitcoin Financial, said that if MicroStrategy secures a spot on the index, it would lead to a broad exposure of Bitcoin across a wide range of investment portfolios and automatically infiltrate nearly every portfolio. This includes your traditional 401k pension fund and every 60-40 portfolio. So now, why would MicroStrategy entering the S&P 500 be bullish for crypto and how would it be in everyone's portfolio? Well, because a lot of portfolios have S&P 500 funds, which would mean those portfolios would have some, yes, micro strategy components. Oh my gosh, which has what everyone? Bitcoin components. The company is on the path towards eligibility for the S&P 500. That includes the 500 largest companies listed in the U.S. stock exchanges. As of after February 15th, MicroStrategy reached 535, so it's getting close. To be included in the S&P 500, the company must meet specific conditions, including a market cap of at least $15.8 billion and a record of positive profits over the previous four quarters, among other things. Although MicroStrategy market value currently stands at 12.1, it has reported recent profits. So it needs a little bit more market cap and a little bit more juice, which is very possible at the way we've seen Bitcoin moving here. Again, over the last month, Bitcoin up 20%. Bitcoin moving the market, causing a whole bunch of alts to pop. Again, some of them are dropping. Look at Monero, man. Down 20% here in that same one month that Bitcoin is up 20%. So you're saying, yeah, I'm saying, 
that if we keep getting juicy BTC goodiness, which transfers over to MicroStrategy, that can enter S&P 500, yeah, which is in a whole bunch of like 401ks and stuff like that. So a whole bunch of traditional, fi fi you know, trad fi people, traditional finance people, I couldn't even freaking say that this morning, are gonna be like, bro, we're gonna have crypto in our portfolios. This is, this is exciting stuff. Okay, gold outflows. I talked about this yesterday and I gotta give Trick a big support and a big shout out here. All right, so we had billions leave gold ETFs. People are like, dude, crypto is going to steal all the thunder from gold. No, that's not going to happen. Gold, like market cap is like 13, 15 trillion, something crazy like that, where crypto is in the $1 trillion. So no, we're not going to bleed off, but we're bleeding off on the ETFs. And I like to see that. So now you've got micro strategy who could bring more adoption of BTC into portfolios, right? Into financial holdings. You've got gold ETFs outflow into crypto inflow specifically btc etf inflow those are two very bullish things and as always any article you see in this video all my other ones will be linked in the description below so you can check this stuff out yourself now xrp price action i have been saying it now for almost two weeks saying you know what we can hold 50 we're gonna be feeling better now are we feeling as good as some of our friends here no because in the last month, we're down 1.74%, where some of our friends like TRX, wouldn't touch it with the 10-foot pole, are up 22%. But we didn't breach the 50-cent mark and go below and stay there. No, we did just the opposite. We touched it a couple times on the 30th and on the 3rd, and now we're sitting at 56.7. That is a really, really good thing to see. Because we were very afraid that if we breached 50 and went into the 40s, that volume would go down and then we would miss this pump opportunity. The pump opportunity, which is being led by Bitcoin, which is helping out some players in the market. What about Render, everyone? Last month, Render up 38%. So are part of your holdings or any of your holdings up big that are listed on this crypto heat map? Or are you some of the unlucky ones that have just been hodling into single things that just aren't popping and moving as much? XLM's not moving much, Engine not moving much, XRP, Monero, Lido, Ton, Arbitum, same thing, right? There's some Quant, it's another one, down 5%. Ave, yeah, I, I'm not a big Ave fan either. So markets are moving. XRP did good, not falling through 50 cents and trading in the 40 cent mark. That would have been really bad for the XRP community. ETF money from gold is leaving, going into BTC ETFs. You might see more adoption of crypto and traditional finance products if MicroStrategy can get into the S&P 500. These are some exciting things, everyone. You just have to make sure that you're diversified and you're picking the right horse because some of these horses are making some big money for people. Now, I'll admit these last few days have been a little bit more quiet than normal regarding the comments. That's because I'm in a mandatory shutdown period. I'm trying to get my nerves, my sinuses, and everything all perfect. I've been feeling good, but not perfect for my last push for last man standing. Because in four weeks, one day, I'm going to take on a fleet of superhumans and try to become the last man standing. Let's see if it can happen. Now, in the meantime, though, I'm keeping my eyes out on the crypto market because we're seeing some life pop in. Now, is every crypto up? No, of course not. Every crypto is not up, but we're starting to see different ones move in different directions, and that's great. Before, we used to see the crypto market like this. Bitcoin would go up, and the market would kind of go up with a blob with it. Bitcoin goes down, the market goes down with it. But now what we're seeing is we're seeing this one over here take off 20, 30% of the positive. This one here up 20. This one here up 50. This one here up 100. This one here down 15. This one down 5%. This one down 1%. It's starting to separate. We're starting to get the separation. Now, is the separation that our XRP and XLM holders have happening that what we want? No, we wanted separation the other direction. Bitcoin has been gaining market share as of late against those, but it's been losing market share against the other ones I've been showing on in the heat map. So there's definitely some winners and losers out there. And what I want to hear from you, which of your holdings have been winners this last month? Which of your holdings this last month is putting a smile on your face and giving you hope that the crypto market isn't all for nothing? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Now, for me, I'm hoping to God this tinnitus goes away because since my last race, my ears have not stopped ringing. It makes it hard for me to talk on the phone. It actually makes it really hard for me to wear headphones. My neck is really sore. I just have not felt 100% since my last race. So let's hope I turn the corner and get ready for last man standing. Carbon road bike, yes. 
brand new Shimano components on the way. Oh, juicy stuff, everyone. I'll catch you cool cats later as more news breaks. Enjoy your Friday, everyone. The weekend is here.